Okay, so I set it. I put it out in the air. I put it. I put it into the vortex. You can't. You can't catch it. Once it's gone, it's gone. You know. If you put it out on the internet, that's it. You know. So I'm gonna fast from coffee. I mean, you know you don't need coffee anyway. It's just more of a routine for you. It's like a, it's a placebo, you know? It is definitely a placebo. It's like, it's a comfort thing, you know? Because it really doesn't like keep me awake or, you know, promise that I'm gonna get anything done. It's just this thing that I pretend is gonna motivate me. It's like, if I make a pot of coffee, then I'll fucking clean. I don't clean shit, you know? Let's see what time it is. We said that, we said that we'd come back at like three. Okay. It's 1.40. Do you see that? I can barely see it because of the sun. Yeah, I showed up to work today thinking that I had to work in the morning, but I'm supposed to be there tonight, but I just didn't feel like working. And it's such a beautiful day today. And I keep saying I'm going I'm to come out here, hang out with these geese, read the Psalms, hang out with my patron saint. She freaks out my coworkers. They're like, why is she looking at me? Because she wants you to believe in God, that's why. Stop being an atheist. You know, somebody asked me recently if there was any amount of money that would make me give up my religion. I almost smacked this son of a bitch. Mainly because he even asked me the question, you know? And you know, I'm all about questions. But, man, that's so sad to me. That's so sad to me that, that people care more about, about status and money and all this dumb shit that you can't take, you can't take any of this shit with you, man. You can't, okay, so wait for five. For those of you wondering, I am all natural because fuck World War II. <laughs> no, seriously, the whole reason why women shave is because of World War II. That's when they started marketing razors to women and they said that you'd be more feminine if you had smooth legs. You know what would make you the most feminine? If you were more nurturing. If you were a compassionate woman. That would make you more feminine than anything. You know, I have a friend of mine who's like a lesbian. Well, I mean, she thinks that she's a lesbian now. Mainly because her last boyfriend shot her dog and gave her a venereal disease because he cheated on her and she refused to leave him because she loved him. Don't tell me the good women don't exist. They do. Just very sparingly. Okay? But she's, she stood by him, man. Even though he was acting crazy and like running around on her and everything, she still stood by him because she loved him. And, you know, she did what she thought a woman was supposed to do. And he completely fucked her over. So now she's in a girl's. But, you know, when I injured my finger, I sliced my finger open. 
with an onion slicer. I was putting away dishes and I was just being careless and I didn't realize and like, before I knew it, there was blood gushing everywhere. Well, she saw that after I had the band-aid on. She was like, let me kiss it, let me kiss it. So, you know, women can deny those like motherly instincts that they have, you know? Those very nurturing, compassionate instincts. And I'm not saying if you're a gay woman, like you don't you don't have that anymore because you've chosen to, to be with women. Um, but, you know, I think that a lot of women choose that because of, of bad men that they've been with. Just like a lot of men right now are gay because of bad women. Like I have a friend of mine in the Nashville comedy scene who's one of the funniest people I've ever met, who is married to a dude. And, you know, he has kids. None of his kids are gay. He's got a great relationship with all of them. And he hates the fuck out of his ex-wife. You know, they had a really nasty divorce. So I think that a lot of the reason like why people identify in certain ways is because they've had bad experiences with the opposite sex. And so it's like they're, they're willing to be a little bit more open-minded even if it doesn't make logical sense. It's like, well, fuck it. You know, I'd rather take my chances with a man than be with another bad woman. Or I'd rather take my chances with a woman than be with another bad man. You know? That's really sad. Why can't the good men find the good women? I mean, I think, I think the answer to that is, you know, a lot of good women still have some kind of psychological problems going on and vice versa. And, you know, toxic people tend to be attracted to good people that have psychological problems <laughs> because they can use them. So, I see this a lot, you know, with, with good women that are with bad men or with good, good men that are with bad women. It's, it's because they're, they're trying so hard to see the good in that person. They're trying so hard to, you know, be the person for their significant other that they never had, that, that, that's what turned them into such a piece of shit in the first place, you know? I think about that a lot, you know, in regards to narcissists. I'm like, man, the reason why they are the way that they are is because they didn't have what they were supposed to have when they were growing up. And that's not fair. But it's also not fair to constantly use that as an excuse to treat people like shit and use people and manipulate them emotionally. But since they don't have awareness as to what they're doing a lot of the time, you know, you can't expect them to change. Like this friend of mine right now, I'm pretty sure that he's some kind of narcissist. Because he likes stone walls, you know? Like, he doesn't explode, he stonewalls. So, like, any time that, that I've said, like, dude, that's not cool, like, you, you can't talk to me like that, or you can't do stuff like that, because, you know, it's a boundary thing. He doesn't have any boundaries. And he just doesn't fucking get it. I don't think he's a bad guy. But he's also a boomer. You know, and boomers... You know how we feel about boomers. 